Some of the most beautiful towns in Massachusetts are tucked away in the Berkshire Mountains. Dan Tuzinski's produce farm almost went under last year in the depths of the recession. He used to depend on local banks to give him a yearly loan to see him through the winter until last year. Cash was very hard to come by. So someone just wildly said, well, why not print your own? <laughs> Dan and his wife Martha printed their own farm notes and asked their customers to become investors. It says in, in farms we trust. In farms we trust. We've replaced George Washington with a head of cabbage there. I really think we have a more dependable form of currency than the feds are issuing. Your farm notes. Our farm notes, because people know now that we're going to be here and that we will back those notes up. But you back them up with potatoes and strawberries. You can eat those. Can you eat what Washington is giving you? They're giving you rhetoric. I mean, can you eat that? <laughs> <laughs> We've forgotten about the possibility of local currencies, but we never lost the ability to issue our own currencies. We don't really remember this power. One of our programs is Berkshires. It's a currency that can only be spent in this area. Each one has a local hero on the front. So this is a Stockbridge Mohican. Herman Melville's on the 20, and he wrote Moby Dick while he was living in the Berkshires. We had local currencies around this country for over 100 years, really. There's 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Local banks would issue local currencies, but it's just been more convenient to have a national currency. We share a lot of the same philosophy as people who are interested in gold, but we think that instead of having a currency backed by gold, we should have a currency backed by local products. My name is Bernard von Nothaus. I'm the monetary architect who designed and developed the Liberty Dollar. We needed a solution to the evil fiat empire money that has infected our country's monetary system. So I developed the Liberty Dollar. We never used it as current money, and we always told people it wasn't a coin. I saw it as a barter piece that people could take this if they wanted to. If not, we gave them U.S. dollars. We gave them a choice. What was the date, Tally, when I was arrested? It was June, June 4th. June 4th. Uh, they charged me with um, counterfeiting, fraud, ringleader. That was a special charge they hit you with when you're the ringleader of a criminal organization like Liberty Dollar. Uh, Bernard von Nothaus, the government is, is saying that you are trying to compete with our own currency, that you are trying to fool people into thinking that this is U.S. currency. And quite honestly, if I looked at that, can we show that again? If I looked at that with the Statue of Liberty and it says Liberty and USA on the bottom and then trust in God, not in God we trust, it does look like a, a, a U.S. minted coin. No, sir. We're not trying to fool people into thinking this is U.S. currency at all. We have built our whole marketing okay. campaign on the simple fact that it is not government currency. We weren't doing anything illegal. We don't want to do anything illegal. Who's, going to do so Who's so brain dead they're going to do something illegal like this? In public. I mean, ludicrous. Johnny wants a pair of skates, Susie wants a sled, Ellie wants a picture book, yellow, blue, and red. Now I think I'll leave the Christmas to rest. Truthful meat is.
Santa Claus, you will know the best. We have about 138,000 Berkshires in circulation. We have 400 businesses now that take Berkshires, and we launched with about 95 businesses. There's still a lot of work to be done because it's not in our general consciousness. Everybody is used to using the dollar. I'm glad you take Berkshires. Yeah. We are proud to say that there has been one incident of counterfeiting, and we think that's good because it means that they're worth something if somebody wants to counterfeit them. The Liberty Dollar Store on Evansville's east side was the target of an apparent federal raid. The company makes and sells alternative currency, and the U.S. Mint has warned using the money is illegal. And the search warrant included not only all the gold and silver and everything else, but they also included all the minting equipment, all the presses, anything that was associated with minting Liberty Dollars was to be confiscated. I think it was about $7 million. So f***ing limp. This is FBI now. You know, the people who investigated 9-11. Same guys. Quality. Patriot. The Learning Channel video that they had of me using Liberty Dollar, that was the coup d'etat. Washington, District of Criminals. Okay. Now I have the paper money, but I have a new silver $10 piece. Oh, really? Yeah. Ooh, Whoa. What do you think? Looking pretty good. Okay. Okay. I, I take that. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You have a nice day. Oh, absolutely. Are you going to jail? Tell us about yeah. the trial itself. I think I'm going to jail. I, I don't know. The sentences could range from a, from zero to uh, 15 years. The Wall Street Journal says, well, this has always been legal, but if they can find juries, I mean, what next? Is having a ham sandwich going to be punishable by 15 years? Oh, yeah. Hi. I'd like to have two turkey and Swiss and one ham and Swiss. I have a $10 silver. We know, okay. What is this? It's a new $10 silver piece. Hold on. I'm trying to see what this is. Just like that? Well, that is, that is against the law. It, you're not allowed to mint your own coins, but you can issue your own paper currency. That might have been because our founding fathers didn't think paper currency was worth that much, so they didn't outlaw it in the Constitution. Gold backing, to me, it doesn't make sense because it doesn't um, have inherent value. It can't eat it. It can't wear it. The government, <laughs> they didn't like the Liberty Dollar. We were way too successful. We were way too vocal. Your stinks. So does your money. And they didn't like that. That's why Trump, the government, sounds so good.